Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I'm going to make sweet potato soup in the deluxe cooking blender. There's Raleen. There's Simone. I've been... <laughs> there's my sweetheart. Boy, I'll tell you, it, <laughs> it takes a while to cut up the sweet potato. And I told my daughter, I said, I'm going to get one big sweet potato. And that should be four cups because it calls for four cups. It was a huge sweet potato, about like this. It took me a while to... to Hi, Simone. Good to see you. Believe it or not, I got exactly four cups by cutting it all up. Exactly four cups. So I bought, bought me a couple of them so I can always make another one if I want to. But I'm going to try this because I've never made sweet potato soup in this blender before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've never made sweet potato soup in this blender before. And I want it and it's simple enough because we're cool today. We're on the rainy side. We're only in the 50s right now. We're not going to get much higher than about 60 degrees. Is it, Erleen? Oh, good, good. Um, I think, um, it wasn't amazing. I've never had it. I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes, but I think it's more yams that I don't like than the sweet potatoes. I know there's a difference and I don't know what the difference is because I was asking Laura this morning what the difference between yam and sweet potatoes are. Because I know yams, they get, they serve those at Thanksgiving and I never did like those. Every time my aunt, aunt would fix them, I, I, you know, took <laughs> Turn, take them past me. You know, I'd, I'd send them on down the table because I didn't like them. Um, oh, yeah, great, Keen. Good to see you. Well, I just got back from shopping, and I got, and I had to buy me sweet potato because I didn't have any. So this is four cups of one humongous sweet potato. <laughs> I washed it real good, and I cut it up. And I used, I used, this is the knife that I used, the blue knife. You can't do it with any other knife. So... Oh, does it? Uh, is sweet potato cooks, cooks more soft and mushy? Oh, well, with the deluxe cooking blender, everything should cook fine. Um, I do not have the, uh, yeah, it was a big one. I do not have any um, sage leaves. I forgot to buy some. So I went and Googled it. Well, how much, because they say two to four sage leaves. If I use four sage leaves, how much would that be in ground sage? It says, it says about a teaspoon for 10 leaves. I figured, well, this is only four, so it's about half a tea, or no, seven. A teaspoon of uh, seven, yeah, seven sage leaves would equal 10, or a teaspoon of ground ground sage. So I'm only using four, so about half a teaspoon. So, since I didn't get this sage, you, you got to make do with what you got, you know, and I forgot to buy it. So, but I, the sweet potato was the main thing I had to get. So, well, how is everybody's day going? What's your weather like? We're rainy right now off and on um <laughs> it's not very good weather it's i was going to walk after take the dogs for a walk after this but i don't think they're going to get their walk today but that's all right my back's kind of hurting anyway i'm kind of tired so i really don't have to worry about that so um i know it's probably getting hot and i know my daughter says it's getting in the 90s where she's at <laughs> you're hot and sunny yeah 90 oh my daughter's got 95 well sweetheart you can keep it <laughs> On a hot and sunny in Toronto. Well, you know, we're going to have several cool days of uh, 55, 60 degree weather. And you, believe it or not, I turned my furnace on this morning because my house was so cold when I got up this morning. I had to put it on to get cool it, to warm it up in here. Now it's off now, but I'm thinking, wow, I've never had to put the dog on furnace on in June. What's with this weather? It's crazy, isn't it? It really is crazy. Hi, Hannah. Good to see you. The weather is so changeable. You never know from one day to the next what the weather's going to do. What they say about here in Oregon is, is wait a wait a while and it'll change. <laughs> oh, 88 here in southern Georgia, but it's humid, so it feels like in the 90s. I bet it does. I bet it does. That's one thing that we don't get here in, in Oregon is the humidity. Where I'm originally from in Indiana, we had real bad humidity, really bad Oh, yeah, air conditioning. Well, I don't have my fans running today, but when I mean, it got down to 45 last night. It was really cold in my house this morning, so I thought I better put it on to, to get the chill off. You know, hi, Alexis. Good to see you. You haven't missed anything. I bought one honking big sweet potato, and it, cut, it come up to four cups. I wasn't sure. I bought two of them thinking maybe it wouldn't be enough. Oh, my goodness, one was enough. It took me a while to cut this thing up to peel it and cut it up. Sweet potatoes are hard to peel. If you have never died, tried it, oh my goodness. <laughs> but I want, I've never done it in this, in this blender and I wanted to try it because I think Alexis has 
Erlene says she has, and it's really good. I thought, well, I might as well try it. We're cool enough today, and on cool days like it is, cool and rainy weather like we have, soup is always good. And I'm assuming you're probably hot where you're at, Alexis. <laughs> it was. It was a big potato, sweet potato, Alexis, very big. Believe it or not, I looked for the biggest one I could find, and they were all big. Hi, Alex. Good to see you. Welcome. Raining cats and dogs. It was raining here a little bit, bit a, a little bit ago. Um, I had the door open to kind of cool it off in here a little bit, and the dogs won't even go out in the rain. It was just pouring down. We've got rain coming all week, so we've got some pretty crazy weather coming. But we're not going to get in the 70s until next week, so we're going to be in the 60s all week. So. Good afternoon, Alex. Yep, I sure am. I sure am. One big sweet potato, Alex. Look at this. It made four cups like it's supposed to call for. It was a honking big sweet potato. When I went to Walmart, I thought, can I find the biggest sweet potato? And I started sorting through the sweet potatoes. And I thought what I thought was about like this. I thought, no, oh, that looks big enough. Boy, it sure was. It was hard to peel. But I used my trusty Pampered Chef peeler. It got it just fine. You know, and of course, I cut it up with this. No other uh, knife is going to work. Paring knife, utility knife, or anything is going to work. This is the knife you have to use. Uh, <laughs> Alex is there with his bowl and spoon. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's funny. Alex is always out my window. <laughs> You're funny, Alex. Anyway, I wanted to try this because... This is the one soup I haven't done yet. I've done the cheesy potato. I've done the tomato um, and basil. And I've done the, uh, yeah, the cheesy potato and the, and the tomato and basil. But I've never done the sweet potato. Now, I'm not going to do the, the uh, mushroom or um, cauliflower or beet. Those I won't do. But I thought I'd try the sweet potato. Oh, the butternut squash. I haven't done that one yet e either, Alexis. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you have or not. I don't know. I'm kind of debating whether I want to do that one or not because I'm not too fond of squash all that much. So I'm going to try the sweet potato first. I know it's supposed to be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, this calls for two and a half cups of vegetable broth, real low sodium vegetable broth. Um, but I've only, I'm going to use my two cup measuring cup and then just add another half to it. This is a brand new carton. Oh, you said, a, oh, you said, a, okay, you said, a, yeah, I haven't done that yet, Alex. I have not made butternut squash yet. Um, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not too fond of, of squash. I don't know. I know it's from the pumpkin family, but I don't know. I'm just not too, too fond of it that well. I'm not really fond of sweet potatoes either, but I have made other things with sweet potatoes in it, and it actually tasted really good. So I thought, well, you know, soup, but I'll be awesome, so... That's two cups, and I'm going to put another half a cup in here. Oh, I, I will. I will, Alexis. I'm going to try that sometime. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not fond of it, but, you know, I'm never going to know if I like it or not if I don't try it. So I want to give it a try. You're right. So here's there's two and a half cups of the broth, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. <clears throat> As you can see, your lid's on that because <clears throat> it hasn't got the lid on yet. Okay, it costs two and a half cups of uh, low sodium broth, one to one teaspoon of salt. And let me get that right now. And I'm going to use my sea salt. Oh, you can season it to your liking. Awesome. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. Everybody knows I love these uh, adjustable spoons. And then it calls for, and this doesn't have any add-ins. It calls for four cups of sweet potatoes and then two garlic cloves. And two, or two to four sage leaves. But like I said, <clears throat> I forgot the sage leaves. So I'm going to use ground sage. I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of ground sage. I just bought some, I've had some, <coughs> excuse me. I'll try to get that. Oh, I hate when these things don't open up right. It's, I don't have, oh, there I got nails. <laughs> I didn't think I had much of a nail to get it open. And, you know, they... <laughs> so, I'm gonna be, let me drink a little bit of my water while I'm thinking about it. Okay. 
All right, now half a teaspoon of the ground sage will equal around approximately four sage leaves. I meant to buy them today and I forgot. I don't know if I could have even found them anyway, so I got ground sage. We'll just use that, that'll work. You, you gotta make do with what you have, you know. Uh, I'll have to go back and see what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of missing, missing your comments and I'll go back and get them when I get done here. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out though. Uh, okay, Alex, what'd you say that I, I missed? Let me go back and get your comment. Let's see your comment, Alex, before you freak out. Okay. One time you weren't even on the scope, and she said, <laughs> Yeah, Laura is my daughter. She's my daughter, Alex, in case you didn't know it. I call her sweetheart because she is my sweetie. She's the only, you know, she, I got one son and I got one daughter. So she's my little girl. So even though she's in her 40s, she's still my baby. <laughs> we all feel that way, you know. I'm going to put this in there. On the floor. Here it is. And I wipe, why should I wipe it off? Okay. All right. And then two garlic cloves. And these are pretty good size. These are pretty good sized garlic cloves. You hit the thing with your the blue knife to get the peeling off because you don't really need to uh, mince those. And there are no add-ins in this, so I'm gonna get ready to put this lid on. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why. Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on the soup setting, which is right up here. I'm gonna go over here, okay. Okay, there's the soup setting. And I'm going to push it in. It gets 212 degrees. There we go. Now, it looks like it's not going to do anything, but it will. It will blend it all up. It's already 68 degrees. So, how's everybody doing today? Um, I don't think... Ever, um, everybody told me where they're at. I know Alexis is in Georgia. Alex is in California. My daughter's in Missouri. Um, and Ordeans in Michigan. Some of the other ones, I'm not too sure where you're at when you come in here. Um, just put up, put, let me know where you're at so I can give you a shout out in your state because, uh, you know, we get them here from all over. Oh, you're in St. Louis? Awesome. My daughter's in House Springs. Oh, is it windy there? Oh, yeah, it's windy here too, Alex. Oh, you love sweet potato? Oh, you're in, oh, that's right. You are, I know you're in California, Alex. And you're, oh, Tony, you're in Philadelphia. I was also wondering where you were. South Jersey, New Jersey, awesome. Chicago, cool. Um, I like to know where other people are, are from and how your weather is there and how people are doing there, you know, with this COVID-19, how, how things are, how people are faring. Because it's been a rough road to hold for a lot of people, you know. Really, it has. Oh, your name is Dee? Awesome. Well, welcome, Dee. Good to see you. And thank you for coming in. Um, we have an, there's another D that comes in here, Deanna D, um, and she is from uh, Massachusetts. Um, she's not in here right now, but she comes in once in a while. Yes, and my daughter's in House Springs. Yeah, you didn't have to tell me, sweetie. I know where you're at. <laughs> I'm going to throw this in there. I missed, I missed one of my potatoes. came up. Came up. There we go. Let's get this on here. That's a better throw. Didn't want to waste the potatoes. I'll put that in there. But, uh, Oh, you, that's where you grew up? Oh, okay. I grew up in Indiana. I grew up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I lived there for um, many, many years. I lived there um, until got married. Then we moved to uh, Columbia City, Indiana. And then we, and then we moved to uh, Hamlet, Indiana. We moved all over the place, you know. Uh, I've never really lived in Missouri, although I've visited, this, visited that state. I've been in that state. I've been in the state of Illinois. I've never lived there either. Um, visited Michigan, never lived there. I've, I've lived in Hawaii, um, Oregon, um, let's see, a, bit, a few uh, in Indiana. So I've lived, those are the only states I've really actually lived in. I've been in Virginia and West Virginia also. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My daughter knows I like to repeat things, don't I? I do. Uh, sometimes she'll tell me something, and I, and I didn't remember she told me, and I'll say, well, do you remember, uh, uh, or something? and she'll say, Mom, I already told you that. 
it's like I'm going senile or something. Not really. It's just that sometimes I, it goes over my head or I'm thinking about something else. Uh, it was and it wasn't because there's a lot of um, people there, especially the Hawaiians that you can't allow, I'm not allowed to be in their islands. Hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. They're, they're, they, we lived in a, a, a place called Sand Island was the closest we were to. And my son went there to one, one day to go swimming. And there was Hawaiians there. And they said, you don't belong there. Because in Hawaii, we as, as Caucasians were called Howleys. Hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. We were called Howleys. And um, there are some forbidden islands on Hawaii that you cannot even go to. And that's just for the Hawaiians themselves. And that's... Um, I think that's Lanai, and there's a few other ones, and I can't even pronounce them. I have been, we lived on the island of Oahu, but I have been on the island of Kauai, and we've, I've been on the big island. Um, so, yeah, you're probably right, sweetie. It's probably not that way anymore. Things have really, really changed, you know. Um, Hawaii is a beautiful state, but it's a very expensive. Oh, my goodness, you've been, you've been all over the place, Alex. Wow. Um, the sweet potato, sweet potato soup, Cheryl. Uh, the one that's in the in the uh, Pampered Chef blender, blender cookbook, um, the recipe book, that's the one I'm making. Um, took four cups of sweet potatoes, and I took one great big sweet potato like this and and, and peeled it and, and uh, cut it up, and it made it made just enough, four cups. See, it's 115 degrees right now. This is going to get to 212. But anyway, um... Hawaii is a great place to live. Well, visit. Let's put it that way. Visit. But you don't want to live there. Because we lived there for a while and it just got, it's expensive. Especially when you have to have things flown over. Like milk, over $4 a gallon because the milk has to be flown in. Um, the only thing you could get was pineapple. We could get, because we, my ex-husband used to work at the Dole Pineapple Plant. So we could get a lot of pineapple, you know. But uh, so many things had to be had to be uh, uh, shipped in, and we just got tired of it. You know, we were there for probably mm, a little bit more than a year, maybe a year and a half. We decided that we had to get the heck out of there and come back out of there. Uh, we were on the island of Oahu. Um, on the island, uh, it was Oahu, but it was in a place called Hawaii Kai. It's off of Kalani Anioli Highway. Try to say that several times in a row. Kalani Anioli Highway. Um, I can't even spell it, but I can say it. Um, but it's the it's the major thoroughfare to go from where we were at to Waikiki, because we both worked in Waikiki. Uh, coconut milk. What about it, Alex? I've got coconut milk. Um, I didn't didn't ever bought it. Coconut milk I never did buy there. I never bought it until I came over here. Um, regular milk. See, at that time I was not a vegan, so I used regular milk. And that was four dollars a gallon. I don't know what anything else would be, but I just remember that specifically being being very expensive. Um, oh, did I? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I I remember that it was it's it's highway. I can't remember what the highway number was, but it's Kalani Anioli Highway. Like I said, try say that several times in a row. Uh, oh, they, yes, they do have coconut milk. They probably do have coconut milk, Alex. But we, I, at that time, I was not a vegan, so I didn't even think of coconut milk. I was using the whole milk or your 2%. That had to be shipped in with a gallon of milk. That's what I was talking about, you know. Um, but now that I'm a vegan, I wouldn't even use it. But at that time, I wasn't. So I was still drinking regular milk. And it itself was so expensive. Even their, their bananas were, you know, <laughs> bananas were high and pineapple. What made me go vegan for health reasons? Um, I feel it's better for me health-wise. Um, I was 250 pounds at one time, and I decided I started to lose weight, and I've really lost a lot of weight. Uh, yeah, I know. They have uh, they have macadamia nut farms, and that's on the island of Maui. There's a mac the macadamia nut farms. I've never been to those, but they do have them. Um, macadamia nuts. Um, we had a macadamia nut farm um, when we moved to Oregon. We, mo we moved on uh, and. Uh, to a macadamia nut farm, and boy, I tell you, you have to cut to pick those macadamia nuts. We had to do that all by hand. They drop on the on the trees, and we were picking them and picking them. Picking them. Finally, we decided 
to get people from the employment office to help us, and we had some that wanted to help and some that didn't. We paid them, of course, but we had oh, a lot of macadamia nuts, and we were able to sell them and make money that way. People would buy them with bushelfuls. Um, so um, they were, the macadamia nuts are kind of a... They're a, they're a kind of nut that's a little bit hard to like. If you've never had it before, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But if you've had it, then you then you're, you know pretty much know what they are. But we had a lot of nuts. Oh, I'm gonna have to let these dogs out. All right, all right, come on, let's go. Be quiet now. Let's go. They must see a squirrel or something. They're here. They, they see a squirrel and they, they go right up the try to climb up the tree to get it. But anyway. Um, Hawaii is a great place, but like I'm telling you, you don't want to live there. We live there a little too long because they are expensive. But it was, I was kind of glad to get back into the mainland again. I mean, you know, just get my foot on this ground. I'll tell you, <laughs> when we when we um, decided to, and we, at the time we were living in Indiana, uh, we decided to, to uh, move to Hawaii. Oh, my goodness. We took a rider truck and we filled that, or was it a U-Haul truck? Maybe it was a U-Haul truck. We drove, um, oh, the volcanoes, yeah, we did, remember, we did see a volcano on the big island. Um, you could go, we actually went on the road where the, where the lava had, uh, was still there. They use it like a museum or whatever, and you could go up to the very, very top and walk up to the, up to the top and the lava, the, the whole road all the way across. You can't drive on it because that, um, <laughs> oh my dogs like when they see a squirrel or something they're always and the, the my pomeranian she's the one that does it all she's the one that starts it all she sees a she sees a pomeranian or, or here's a here's a squirrel and she's a she just came in but she's she starts it all anyway hawaii is very expensive but don't get me wrong it's a beautiful state nice i mean it is so nice there i loved it as far as the country i mean the the um we had a um an orchid tree growing in our yard it was beautiful but anyway i was getting back to how we got there we lived in indiana at the time and um we decided to move to hawaii well my husband and i at, at first we decided we go on our own just to scout it out and to buy houses so my my in-laws took care of the kids my daughter and my son, because they were small at the time. So we went to Hawaii and we checked out what we want, the house we wanted to buy. And then a few months later, we decided to move there. So what we did is we packed everything up, took a U-Haul truck, and drove it all the way from Indiana to Oakland, California. Put it oh, very high. And we put everything from that truck onto a um, container because that's the only way you can get anything over to Hawaii is on, on boat. So we put on a container boat. Um, and then we flew from Oakland, California to Hawaii. And of course, our stuff got there. Or our, we got there before our stuff did. Because it took probably, I think, a week. It took a few days anyway. And we were really getting anxious for everything to get there. You know, Here you are in a house with no bed or anything. You have to sleep on the, sleep on the floor and everything. Because we didn't have beds or anything. But it finally everything came. But what a tra tra travel and then you had my two kids my son and my daughter were just like this at each other's throats all the time they were arguing and until you put four people in a truck and you tried oh my goodness whoa it's pretty hard it's just uh, it's really really hard what we did is we'd stop it we stop at rest stops and my kids would be in the pickup truck and my ex-husband and I would sleep in the back of the U-Haul truck with all the, with everything, all our furniture and all the items. We'd lock it up at night and sleep in there. Boy, that was hot. Iowa especially. I remember we went to the state of Iowa. Holy cow, it was so hot that time. We just roasted. But we, we told the kids to get in, stay in the truck and keep the doors locked. You know, we slept in a, at a truck stop. You know, we had to do that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. I. She's my daughter. I'm not lying, Alex. We did. We we drove all the way from Indiana to Oakland, California, with, with a U-Haul truck, and we pulled our vehicle behind. The, uh, we had a, a truck at the time. We pulled that behind, and the kids slept in that truck, and then we slept in the back of the 
U-Haul truck. But that was a trip. Uh, I can't remember how long it was. It was at least, could have been five days maybe. Uh, yeah, she stayed in the back of the car that was attached to the truck. And my son slept in the uh, front seat, I think, and she slept in the back seat. Um, that's the only thing we could do. We had to get our, we had to get our stuff there, one, uh, you know, and we decided to drive it ourselves instead of ship it over, you know, because uh, if you have a, you know, like, like a North American van lines or something do it for you, they'd have to end up putting it on a container ship anyway because you can't go any further. When you get to Oakland, you've got to, you got to put it on, on a ship because how, where's it going to go? It's in the water. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> they did, they did. This is a funny one. My daughter, my, I don't want to embarrass my daughter, but I don't know if I ever told you when we farmed in Indiana. This is long before we ever moved to Hawaii. We were farming in Indiana, and, and we had an old GMC truck that uh, we used to haul grain in, and we'd sit it at the, end of the, at the end of the field, and, you know, and I'd ride with my husband at the time into the combine, you know, and, and I'd take the truck back to the house when it got full and dump the grain, okay? I left my kids in the truck, and I don't know what happened. My daughter was real young at the time. She had pulled her diaper off, and she had uh, P-O-O-P in it, and she smeared it all over the windshield, all over the window. I mean, you couldn't even see in it. And we thought, oh, no, we knew she had done it. She had taken her diaper off and smeared it all over the window of the truck. She probably remembers that to this day. I think her and my brother got into a fight or something. I don't remember what it was. She could tell you what it was, but she remembers doing that, I'm sure. I don't want to embarrass her, but oh, my goodness. Don't <laughs> yeah, she didn't want to be in there with him. That's right. She didn't want to be in there with him. So she, that's what she, that's her way of telling us. She didn't want to be with him, so she takes her diaper off. The smears it all over in the window. One would have been so bad if it had been the other one, but to be to, to be the number two and smear, take it off and smear it all in the window. What a mess to clean up, I tell you. I had to drive that thing back to the house. Here at... Uh, <laughs> it was cute, but it, it was funny, but it was kind of exasperating at the same time because... I had to drive that up to the house so I could dump the grain out and to look through that window and we tried everything we could to hard to clean that thing up and it was really hard to clean that thing. Oh my goodness, smeary. But they were <clears throat> typical kids. They fought a lot as kids. I mean, what kids don't fight? Now, of course, Alexa, she only had Bryce, so she didn't have to worry about that. But when you have more than two kids, and they start fighting amongst each other. You just want to take and, and put, bash their heads together or pull your own hair out. Uh, oh, yes, yes. This was funny. My ex-husband, he, he put in his own um, way to uh, hoist the grain up into a, a the, uh, we call it a grain elevator. It's a, it's a leg to put the grain up, but he was building his own. Well, my son was helping him, and he was holding something for my, for my husband at the time. And my, he started drilling, and he drilled, he drilled a hole into my son's underwear, and almost got his behind. And my son said, "Stop!" You know, if he'd have kept on going, he'd have drilled a hole right into his behind. But that was such a big drill, and he drilled a hole. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was oh, that was something. I mean, I can, I have got stories to tell you of these kids when they were young. It was that my daughter got stung by wasps. She was up on the she was up on the roof with her dad. He was up. He was up. She was up there watching him with her on the roof, and she got stung by a wasp. I think she was teasing them, and she got stung by a couple of them. And I heard her screaming. I was in the house doing something, and I heard her screaming. I didn't know what happened, so I come running out the door, and I says, "What happened?" Because I thought she fell off the roof, and she's, "I got stung by a wasp," you know. And she, you know, to this day, she will not have anything to do with wasps. Can I blame her though? Those things were pretty pretty bad. I think she was she said she got stung twice, but oh my goodness, that poor girl. Wow, I think she remembers that one where she got stung by a wasp, you know. Um, now like I said, we had uh oh she was yeah, she was eating a P P B and J sandwich. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the wasp were trying to, and she was trying to tease them, and I think and and you can't really do that with, with bees because they'll, they'll take after you. Boy, she got it good, too. But, you know, 
She learned her lesson after that. She knew enough not to do that anymore. But you know, that's the way it goes. Um, kids will be kids. They were, all in all, they were pretty good kids except when they fought. I mean, what kids don't fight? They, they fight like, right, like, fought like crazy. But I still love both of them, you know. As you get a little bit older, you look at your, you look at your life and you wonder, well, why, why do we fight like that? But, you know, that, that's the way I fought with my brother, too. I fought with my brother. <laughs> and I don't know if I ever told you this. I don't know what, what age I was. But uh, he, uh, we were fighting. And uh, he bit me on the arm. So I took a bobby pin and I stuck it in his ear. Well, we both got a, a spanking for that one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it, I was so mad at him for biting me. I thought, I'm going to get back at you for, bite, for biting me. So I took a bobby pin and stuck it in his ear, which was the wrong thing to do because he shouldn't have bit me either. But we both got scolded for that one. We fought all the time. It seems like we could never get along as kids. I mean, it's, it's horrible. I mean, I don't know of one family yet where the kids, kids get along. Oh, <laughs> oh, Alex, I'm sorry. I, uh, you know, I've been in periscopes already where I accidentally swipe myself out. I'm, I'm trying to comment or something, and all of a sudden, I'm not there anymore. I swipe myself out. You know, and that's real easy to do because the way they've got it set up now, you can swipe to the right or to the left and end up going into somebody else's broadcast, and you don't really want to be there. You know. Uh, yep, it is. You can see it's boiling. It's not quite done yet. You, it's got over 15 minutes to go. And it's not even up to the 210 right now. But, uh, but my kids have really got tales to tell. They, I mean, they fought. They did fight, like I said. They fought like, a, uh, like crazy when we were driving to California. And from Indiana to California, that is a long, long drive. Very tiresome. But we had to stop and lay over. We, you know, we only drove... I can't remember exactly how many. I think he drove about 500 miles a day or something like that, I believe. Um, oh, no. Oh, so, oh, I'm sorry about that, Alex. Yeah, I've had that before, too. But anyway, they fought a lot. But that, that trip was really a long trip. And I was glad when we got there. But then, like I said, we had to put everything on a container ship. And then we had to fly out from Oakland into, to Honolulu, which was a long flight as it was, and f fly out. And then we had to wait for our stuff to get there, you know. But uh, that I'll, I, I never want to do that again. That was such a long, long trip, you know. Beautiful, because I mean, you're you're seeing the sights. Because I do remember there's we we stopped at the you know, there in um, Utah at the Bonneville Salt Flats. And my kids went down and they stood on the salt and I took a picture of them on the salt flats. I've got it somewhere on my, on my uh, photo album. But I do remember taking a picture of them on the salt flats. You go through the salt flats there in Utah, you, there is nothing for about 40 miles. There's nothing. It's all in like it's, it's dead. There's nothing there. Just, just you know, salt flats. And if you, boy, if you run out of gas, what are you going to do? Because you have no place to get gas. So I think we did fill up in um, Salt Lake City. When we got to Salt Lake City, we filled up. But, oh, my goodness, it took a long ways to, long time to get there. So if you've never been through the Bonneville Salt Flats, they're awesome. And my, my husband and I, we did go to uh, the Redwoods. Those are absolutely beautiful. Go through the Redwoods. They are majestic. They are so nice and tall and sleek. And you got the Redwoods on both sides of you going to Northern California. That was just beautiful, those Redwoods. And they also have a... A place where you can put your car through the, uh, a tree. And I think it's still there. I'm not sure, but we were able to drive our car through the tree. And I thought, hey, this is cool. I never, we never drove through a tree, so we parked our car through the tree and took a picture of it in the tree. Um, that was awesome too. They had souvenir shops along the way. I can't remember stopping at those, but I was so so and through so thrilled by those by those majestic uh, redwood trees. Just gorgeous. And uh, the lumber from that is awful expensive too very expensive lumber really but it's nice lumber got a real good smell to it i think that my fence posts out here that, that the guy put him in next door a redwood fence, fence posts but i've got really a lot of stories to tell about when we were on our trips but you know that's the longest trip that i can remember going from from indiana to to hawaii and uh, of course we drove all the way back we flew from hi good to see you welcome yankee woman good to see you of course we flew back from hawaii to uh to Oregon because we wanted to leave the mainland so we come to Oregon 
and uh, it took a while to get our stuff again too. Um, we when we first got we first got back we we ended up um, you know had to get I think uh, stay in a hotel we stayed in hotels and yeah we did I think we, there was a uh, we had to stay in a hotel I think for ten days until our house was ready I do believe oh my goodness what a what a joke staying in a motel for ten days that was a that was a lot of fun because there you go the kids were fighting again and we were about ready to pull our hair out it was it, it was miserable. Because we had to go out and eat and everything. And we didn't really want to do that. But our house wasn't ready at the time. You know, the people hadn't moved out yet. And, we, you know, we had to wait for it to close. So here we were sleeping in motel. And like I said, I think it was, remember, my daughter can tell you, I think it was, I believe it was 10 days. It was a, it was a long, long 10 days. I'm telling you, it was really long. Yep, sweet potato soup. Yep, sure is, sweet potato soup. You can see it here. It's. This is 210 degrees. It's got 10 minutes, a little more than 10 minutes to go. Yep, sweet potato. I've never made sweet potato soup in here before. That's why I wanted to, wanted, wanted to try this because I've never made it in here. And this is a, a blender that cooks it and blends it at the same time. You can see it right now. It's boiling. It's cooking up. Um, that's why I like this blender. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Huh? -uh. Oh my goodness! What the heck? I didn't. St Thank you, sweetheart, for for. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Somebody said I stole some recipes. I don't steal anybody. I take them from Pinterest, but I don't. I don't uh, copyright them or anything. Oh my goodness! This is terrible. You know th that's helpful for somebody to say I stole a recipe. I don't steal. Re I. You know they're there for people to use. And if you want to use their recipes, they say they say pay. Take a picture of it, you know, and let them see the picture that, you, that you've that made of, of their um, recipe. You know, a lot of recipes are meant to be tweaked. Now, this one, you don't have to tweak it. For those that are just coming in, if you want to know what I've got in my, re in my sweet potato soup, there's two and a half cups of uh, your vegetable broth, um, one teaspoon of salt, which I use the sea salt, um, two to four fresh sage leaves are called for, and I didn't have the sage leaves. So I used a half a teaspoon of ground, of ground sage, which is equal to about se uh, about four. They say seven seven le seven uh, leaves are equal to a teaspoon. So I figured, well, I've only got four, so half of that, and then four cups of sweet potatoes, which was one great big huge sweet potato. Um, a half of a medium. Well, I forgot the onion. I knew I'd forget something. And two garlic cloves, but that's all right. Um, yeah, they want to spread misery, right? I forgot the onion in here, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's mine, so I can, I, but I'll, I'll put it up on, on face, Facebook what it's supposed to have in it. So I know I forgot something, but it'll still be good anyway. So, yeah, people want to be miserable. They want to be miserable, and they want you to be miserable right along with them. So they'll say all kinds of things to, ma to make, you, make you feel miserable. See how that's bubbling up? It's really bubbling up. It's, it's, uh, this is a nice blender. Um, if you want this blender, get with Alexis. Um, as I know, Erlene had, <clears throat> Erlene had a real good show. She gets, she's getting $630 worth of Pepper Chef products. There's, I think there was, she said, 1400 and some odd dollars of, of uh, sales that she got. So she really got a lot. Her, her, her party was, it was amazing. She was, she was getting $630 worth of product. Don't know how, but people just bought this time. And, and thank you for people that bought I'm sure Alexis will thank you the same because it, it helps both of them. You know, she's able to get her products and it helps Alexis because she gets her uh, commission. So we, we thank you very, very heartily for, for uh, spending time and buying on her on her, her party. She's really happy. So she's like me. We're not going to do any more parties now. I think we're going to let everybody else do them. We've, <laughs> we've kind of done enough. But anyway. She's glad she could do this party. I don't know where she's like. She must be about with Brandon again. But anyway, sweet potato soup. I forgot the onion, but I can always add it later or, you know, just leave it out. It's only half an onion anyway, so I'll just leave it out. So, um, But it looks real good. This looks real. This looks awesome, and it's going to smell good, too. Um, now, I've never, that being said, I've never had sweet potato soup, so this is going to be something new for me. And I wanted to make it since I've never made it before. I wanted to see what it was going to be like making it in here because um, I know Erlene's made it and Alexis has made it and uh, I've never made it. I've made the tomato basil and I've made the cheesy potato. Um, 
Um, yes, outside. They're wind chimes. Yes, they are wind chimes. Yep. Because we've got a windy day for some reason today. And we've got rain off and on. Yes, this is the double deluxe cooking blender from Pampered Chef. Yes, this cooks and blends. That's why I like it so well. Your Vitamix does not cook it. It only blends it. So therefore, if you're making soup in it, or a hot, anything hot, you have to get your water boiling or real, real hot in the beginning because it, it, it uh, heats, the, heats the food up by friction of your blades. But this has actually got uh, a electric things, the prongs at the bottom that heat, heat it up. And it's in the base and as well as in here. And it heats it up. As you, this right now is 210 degrees. And this shows you the heat thing. Um, this is an awesome blender. Um, if you can feed, see, and it's $349 for this blender. Uh, it's a real nice blender. Um, I didn't have to pay that for it, though, for mine. Because I got mine, I think I hosted a party when I got this. So I didn't have to pay that much. But it's an awesome blender. I was, wasn't too sure about it at first. But once I saw Alexis use it, and I could see what it did, I thought, hey, i got to have that blender. So then after it came out, then I, yeah, it is. Then after it came out, I told her I wanted to host a party so I could get the blender because I could get it, I think, 60% off. So I hosted a party and got it 60% off. And you know, I've never regretted it. I've used this a lot. You can make sauces in here, your nut milks, your nut butters, um, your soups, of course. Um, see, um... I can show you a few things. You can make smoothies. Of course, I've got to get the smoothie attachment before I make smoothies in here. Because they just they just came out with a smoothie attachment not too long ago. I just ordered it on Arlene's party, which I know is going to probably be July before I get the stuff. But that's okay. I'll get it nonetheless. But, uh, this will, in a few minutes, this will, this will take off and it'll just keep right on blending. It's, what it's still doing is cooking and blending at the same time. That's why it stops. It's boiling up. It's cooking. Because you want it to cook all those potatoes in there. You know, you could not put this in the Vitamix and have those sweet potatoes cooked. They would not be cooked like that. You would have to cook them on the stove first or regular potatoes to cook them on the stove first and then put them in the blender. That's just the way it goes. Tomatoes, that's different. But, um, hi, Jen. Good to see you. Welcome. I'm making sweet potato soup in the, in the um, deluxe cooking blender. As you can see, it's coming along. It's, it's only got four, 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 four minutes and 26 seconds left to go now. It's 210 degrees. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Because I've never done the sweet potato soup. Um, I probably could, but there's a special smoothie um, a to attach with that would make it the smoothies a lot better. I have never tried to make smoothies yet. Um, I guess it does okay. Berlin says the smoothie attachment makes it better. What is the cook time? Okay, it started with about 15 minutes or so. Um, this is the cook cook uh, degrees is 212. So this has got 3 minutes and 52 seconds to go right now. As you can see, this is counting down. And you can see it boiling up there. It's still boiling right now. So that's why I've got to have this on here because it would all over the kitchen. So you've got to have that on there. This is a glass container. This gets very, very hot, so you cannot really touch it. The cool time, um, oh, for 300... Yeah, but the the blender attachment is, is separate. There's other attachments that probably come with it that are separate. Yes, you probably should, but um, I didn't care. because they didn't they didn't have the smoothie attachment at the time the blender came out. That has since come out. So this came out first. So they didn't have that stuff. So, but I'll be getting it in Erlene's party. So um, I'll be getting it next month. As you can see, this thing says hi. <laughs> it says hi. And then, and then it goes down and starts blending again. Um, welcome to everybody coming in. And I'm just watching my blender. I like to watch this thing because I think it does a, such a good job of blending everything. Um, you know, four cups of sweet potato was one great big huge sweet potato. Um, I've got another sweet potato that's not quite as big. It's still big and I can show it to you. It's still big though. Let's see, let's watch it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I believe this was the size of the sweet potato that I've, I used. Look at that. Isn't that a honking big potato? <laughs> That's about the size I just, I'm just I'm using right now. That's a big potato. Really big potato. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Yet. But I thought, well, I don't want to buy a, a bag of sweet potatoes and then just have to keep peeling them and everything. I thought, I'll just get one great big potato 
and then peel it. But I tell you, it's a job. So I sat down and I, I cut it up, cut it up with the with this um, the blue knife, cut it up with this into chunks and measured out four cups. Um, <clears throat> and I used my vegetable peeler from Pampered Chef. This here, this does a real good job of peeling it. It's awesome. So I use that. This is getting down to a it gets a little bit more than a minute. This minute and 41 seconds. It'll get down close to a minute and it'll start spinning all the way around. Oh, I do too. I use that knife for the, you know, the, uh, I got it when, when uh, Alex got me the, the salad cutting bowl. That came with it. And that salad cutting bowl is awesome. It really is awesome. I, it really cuts the salad up really mean -o. You know, your lettuce and your radishes, tomatoes, everything you want. Cuts it up so nice. Um... Hi, Ann. Good to see you. Welcome. Here's my sweet potato soup is, that's in my uh, deluxe, deluxe cooking blender. Um, you, can just see, you can see it's boiling up right now. It's going to start, it's pretty soon it's going to, it's getting started. Less than a minute to go and it's going to start, it's going to start going really fast. At the very end, it'll go real fast. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Oh, bad storms. Okay, yeah, you stay safe in the storms. I think there's bad storms all over the place. A lot of people are getting a lot of um, rain now. It's really, it's really rough, but they're, you know, rain is, you know, what can you do? <laughs> you know, we, we need rain. We do need rain. So, so now it's going to start going. 30 seconds, it's going, going. There you go, see? It starts going. It'll stop for a little bit, then it'll go again. It's got 23 seconds to go. And that's how it's going to finish up. See steam coming off? See the steam coming off the top? You know it's really, really hot. And you do not want to touch this. This is hot. Okay, now it's at the end. Now I'm going to hit the cancel button. And I'm going to shut this off for right now until I, until I wash it. See that steam coming off? Look at that. Plus I got stuff stuck in here. I'll have to clean that out. Um, don't know why it's stuck up there, but it did. Okay. Now you can see, just by looking at that, look how, how smooth that is. I'm going to put it in a bowl. This is a soup bowl, so I'll just use this. And this is, a, this is the colander from Pampered Chef. I love this thing. So I leave it set out. And I also leave my uh, cradle for the Pampered Chef quick cooker out, too. If I ever need it, I've got it. Okay, I'm going to pour this in here. That is thick. It's going to be thick. Oh. Mm. Okay, I'll leave that sit on there. But there, there's the sweet potato soup. What do you think of that? Would you make this? Um, and as soon as it cools down a little bit, I'm gonna I'll have to blow on it to try it. Um, I want to I want to let you know how it tastes because I've never had it before. Let me tr let me try it. I'll have to blow on it. Mmm, this is actually good. You know I'm gonna be. Um, using more sweet potatoes now. This is actually good. Uh, really is. You know, I'm glad this is in the in the uh, Pampered Chef. De and this is the book that comes with the Pampered Chef Deluxe Cooking Blender. You've got several recipes, your soups. You've got uh, you can pancakes. Oh, the carrot ginger soup. I will, I will, um, Alexis. Um, I don't see those... They're not on this page, though, so I'm going to have to see if I can find the, the page where they would be because they only have a few listed on here. Is that listed here at all on the, um, oh, well, here's the, the sweet potato soup here. Uh, oh, you got sweet potatoes yesterday? Oh, you can even do a, a, a custom blend. You can do ice cream in here, too, which I've done ice cream in here before. You do milkshakes, ice cream, frozen drinks, margaritas. Of course, I don't drink that stuff anyway, but... Uh, this thing is, is awesome for the things that you can do in here. It's really, it's really amazing. Look at that. What do you think of that? Isn't that awesome? It's nice and thick, and it's really, really good. Let me um, try it again. It doesn't have the onion in it. I forgot it, but it's still good anyway. 
Mm-hmm. This isn't bad. I guess I'm going to learn to like sweet potatoes. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. And I'm going to post it up on my vegan page. I don't want to take and use too much, eat too much of it because I want to remember to, to put it up on my vegan page. But it looks really, really good. I'm only, this I'm going to put it in a container and save it for another day. But this is, this is awesome. It really is. Um, if you can uh, find a way to get the blender and you can make the stuff yourself, I would do it. Because once you buy this blender, you'll wonder why you did without it for so long. You know, I was happy when they came out with it. This is the this is the funny thing. You know, Pampered Chef were coming up with so many different new things. And my daughter said to me one day, she says, Mom, wouldn't that be something if Pampered Chef came out with a blender? Well, she was right, because then they came out with a blender. And she hit the nail right on the head. She figured that they would come out with a blender. Well, and they've got an air fryer now. Um, and they've got your quick cooker is the pressure cooker like your Instapot. They're coming out with a lot of nice stuff. But I love, this is one of my favorite appliances. That's why it stays on the counter because I use it. My quick cooker, I've got it sitting on the kitchen table and I bring it over here when I need to use it. And then when I'm done with it, I put it back. But this stays on the counter because I use it a lot. Um, I, I, make, I made an ice cream in it, which I'll probably do when it warms up again, be making ice cream in it. This does a real good job on ice cream. So if you can find your way to get this at $3.49 or even host a party and get it, um, money off on it, you'll, you'll be happy you did. Um, when I first saw it, though, I wasn't sh too sure I liked the looks of it. And then when I saw Alexis using it, I thought, well, looks, be, looks it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's see how it works. And when I saw it work, oh, I was tickled pink. I thought, man, this, this works awesome because I, I could see what it did. And I says, I don't care about how it looks. In fact, it's grown on me. It really has because it looks similar to the, the quick cooker as far as the top is concerned. It, look, it looks like the quick cooker somewhat. So um, it's, got, it's got several different um, settings on it. You've got your custom blend as well. But it's an awesome blender, and I highly recommend it. Um, and if you've got a Vitamix, your Vitamix won't do what this does. Now, Vitamix is a good blender. Don't get me wrong. But they can't cook anything. And now that I, I'm able to cook in this blender, I don't use my Vitamix for that. I can make smoothies in the Vitamix, which I've done that already. Make smoothies in it or a grind, grind your flour and stuff in Of course, you can grind in here too. But sometimes I do it in the Vitamix so I don't have to dirty this up and everything. Because i gotta, I got a clean cycle on that too. So it's totally up to you. But if you want this, get with Alexis. Uh, go into her profile and, and you can see the catalog. The virtual catalog is nice because, uh, okay, Alexis, you have a great and marvelous day because I'm going to get off in a little bit too. I sure will. I'm going to, I'm going to have to get this. I'm going to have to eat my soup before it gets cold. So I think I'm going to go too. Um, but I thank you all for coming in and, and being here for me. And I hope you have a great and marvelous day. And until we meet again, take care. God bless. Love you all. And bye-bye. Uh.